Hi everyone, another Asus router video. Uh, this one's on uh, CronJob or CronTab, however you want to call it, uh, which is a command line uh, utility uh, that if you're using the Merlin firmware with your Asus router, you've got access to Cron functionality, which essentially means through the command line, you can set up uh, a schedule uh, to run certain scripts. Uh, there is a feature within the Merlin software that you can create your own bash scripts, save those on the router, and then you can have a cron job uh, schedule to run that at a certain date and time of the week and on regular basis. So I thought I'd show you how to do that quickly. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the router's login page. So once you've logged in, uh, scroll down to the bottom and just left click on the administration tab, then on the system sub tab. And you just want to scroll down and make sure that you've got SSH, which is here, uh, enabled. You've got three options, LAN only, WAN and LAN and no. Uh, mine's on LAN only. Uh, I've switched my uh, router off in the outside world so make sure that's selected scroll to the bottom and then uh, click enable then the next thing you want to do is open up the uh, command tab and then just open that okay once the command line interface is open uh, you want to head on over and log in um, via SSH uh, to the router. So to do that, just type in SSH space and then use the login credentials for your uh, Asus router. So first of all, just type in the username and then at the IP address, mine is 192.168.1.1, which I think is default, but you may have changed yours. So just enter your IP address, press enter. You're gonna get prompt for the password. So I'll just go ahead and enter that. And press enter. Once you're in, you can see that's confirmed. I'm running the uh, Aswerk Merlin um, firmware on my Asus RT uh, AX88U. And you can see the firmware version number here. Anyway, so to run um, and set up or delete uh, a cron uh, job is quite easy. The syntax is easy. So I've just made a note of it here for you. So you use the command CRU and then you will use an operator after that. You've got the option of L to list cron jobs or you, the second one down here is the option to create a new one when you do. So it's CRU dash and uh, space and add A for add. Then you can enter an ID. So you've got um, a label for the cron job and then you've got the timings command. So you've got minutes, hour, day, month, week, and then the command or shell command that you want to run. And then the last one is CRU space D, which is delete. And then you would just enter the ID uh, that you use to create uh, the cron job in the first place. So these are when you create a cron job, these are the options. So the first thing you do is the ID, which is your identifier. Then you've got minutes. So the format there is naught all the way to 59, hours uh, naught to 23, uh, days of the week, uh, days, days of the month, so naught to 31. Then you've got the month, uh, which is 0 to 12, uh, day of the week, and then the shell command itself. Um, so here's some examples. Um, so if you did zero, zero, uh, asterisk, asterisk, zero, uh, and then a file location to a bash script that is going to perform a backup every Sunday night at midnight, because you've got the first one, which is zero minutes, zero hours. So that's midnight. Uh, and then the last one uh, is the day of the week and zero is for Sunday. So if we go back to the command line interface, we'll try some of those commands out. So CRU space and L will list my cron jobs. So I've got three uh, listed here. Uh, if I wanted to add a new one, it's CRU space A. And then you want to add um, a, an identifier. The identifiers that you can see here are the ones within the hashtags as uh, commented out. So let's do one just called test cron. And I want that to run every minute of every day of every 
week, that would be easy. You just use the asterisk key, which means repeat for each. So I would just do five of those, and then I would put in the command. So my uh, scripts live in a directory uh, JFFS and sub subdirectory to that as scripts. I've only got a couple in there at the moment. So in order to run that, you would type the command bash forward slash JFFS and then the subdirectory um, oops, scripts and the, the file name in there, which is the same as the one I use at the top, which is a CPU uh, temp check, which is a um, temp check, which is a bash file. So just put sh. So if I just press enter, that would have entered that into the cron tab. Check it's there. You can do cru space l for list. So if you look at the bottom here, there's the cron job and that's been entered. So now that will run every minute, every hour, every day um, of every month. Um, the other examples you can see, you can do specific days of the week. So the other um, CRU command was to delete. So let's go ahead and do a delete. So CRU space D for delete. All you need is the uh, ID here without the hashes. So test cron. So let me just type that in. Test cron and press enter. Just check it's gone by doing CRU and L4 list. And there we are, it's gone, I'm back to the original three. So really simple syntax. There's only three or four commands to remember. Just make sure on the Asus router that you do have SSH enabled. Uh, otherwise you won't be able to use the command uh, terminal window to access the router. This is a really handy piece of functionality and I'm gonna do a few more videos on writing some custom scripts so that you can do things like send out email notifications, monitor certain parameters, uh, within your router and then get notified when certain things happen, which I think is really powerful uh, for a home router. Uh, so watch this space, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button and then you'll get updates on when I do the videos on those various scripts. Okay, that's it for now. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.